I'm at one of my very favorite places, Tonkadale Nursery with Jesse, and it looks like we're talking about succulents today. We are. Jesse, you know I, I can't really keep anything alive except for children. So are you going to tell me that I could have some of these beautiful arrangements in my house and it's easy? Yes, succulents are very easy. Actually, the more hands-off you are, the better. They love to be dry, 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 and the best way that people kill them is by watering them too much, therefore probably caring for them too much. So bright light, really dry, um, well-drained soil, and it's best to plant them in a container that does have drainage. Okay, so that sounds easy enough if you tell me how to do it. Can we talk about how to do all of that and get me set up? Yes, so I thought the first thing we'd want to do today was just gain some general knowledge about the varieties of succulents that we're talking about. So I made up a little game, it's called the succulent ABC. The succulents can be grouped kind of by families, so we'll kind of go down the list of families and their members. So starting from the top we have A, Aeonium, with members like Kiwi and Black Giant. Then we go to the Aloes, and we all know kind of what a traditional aloe yes. looks like, but that's our aloe here, and then this guy's name is Donnie. He looks kind of scaly and allergatey. Then the crassulas are next, and that's the jade family. So this is a variegated jade, okay. which is really neat. And this one's called hobbit toes. Hobbit toes? Yeah, and feel how <laughs> thick the leaves are. That is crazy. Yeah, they kind of have strange names, like I said. And then we'll go from there to the echevarias. And I think these are like the most recognizable forms in succulents. People love that flower shape or dahlia look. And this one's called Metallica. Wait, th wh this is Metallica? This is Metallica. Look at it, it's blooming. Metallica. So all succulents do eventually bloom, and when they do bloom, it's really quite spectacular, and the blooms last a long time. Okay, so they are flowering plants. Exactly. That's something I didn't know. Oh, interesting. that's good. Mm -hmm. So this one's called Lipstick. Lipstick. And, um, well, I named this one Ruffles, but it's there's other ones with ruffly leaves. Isn't that neat? I love this one. Okay. Then there's the Euphorbia family, and did you know that poinsettias are also in the Euphorbia family? I did not know. What, do you think I knew that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How would I know? So this one is pencil cactus, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to know that the sap of these guys is a little dangerous. Warning, danger. Do not get the sap in your eyes. Okay, is Not it good. like hot like a pepper or like just? It, bur it will burn your yeah. eyes, kind of makes an allergic reaction. So be careful with the euphorbia. So we have pencil cactus, and this one's called rubra. Isn't it kind of wicked? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. A, B, C, D, E, G, this is gastria. And these guys are just too weird for me to know all the names, but these two are in the gastria family. Okay. And they kind of have a- They're spiky looking. They're spiky and textured. That's what's so great about these is You've got this kind of like ruffly thing with this spiky, and I like the juxtaposition of putting those different textures together. Yeah, and you can't really mess it up. It's just various textures, forms, mm -hmm. and colors. This is cool. People love this one. This is the Calancho family, here, here, and here. <laughs> Grab that guy. That's so This is Flapjacks. This one's actually called um, Jaws. Look at his little... Oh, yeah. Or Fang, excuse fang. me. Fang. See? He's got fangs. Neato, and that's the panda plant because he's fuzzy ears. All right, and then then we'll go to the sedum family, and sedums are kind of creepy crawly with little leaves, and mm -hmm. so this is burrow's tail, and this one's called jelly bean. Okay, that, these are really cute. Yes, I love them. And then we have the sensio family, and that's these guys. This is called blue arrows and chalky fingers, and these guys are more upright. They're going to have a lot of blue and silver foliage in this family. So that is the succulent ABCs. I'm not sure if I will retain all of that, but that was really interesting. Well, let's get started on a container. Okay, so let's whisk these away. So I know I said succulents require drainage, but this is something I created that's like a centerpiece. And this has been as is for two weeks without water, wow. which is great because you don't have to do much about right. it. So all we did here was we just dropped some containers of succulents in the glass vase and mm -hmm. filled rocks around them. Now these are cactus, so they're suck in the succulent kind of family, but they're all varieties of cactus. And again, they're flowering plants. See, they have I see that little flowers that coming is, on. That is really interesting. And we have some see. props here. You can see where that's budding right there, that little flower. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So he's a fuzzy guy. And the cactus family is called Optunia, so that's the O's. 
so happy. We're going to choose some cactus here to put in our glass vases okay. that are all ready to go. I brought us some kitchen tools to help us so we don't get stabbed by the thorns. So just go ahead and get in there and select your specimen. I am going to choose this guy right here. I was wondering how we were going to get these cactuses in here, but tongs, who knew? Yeah, it works. All right, so I'm going to put... Do I empty this out of the container? And we're going to leave it right in the container. Therefore, it still has a drain hole so we don't get too swampy. Okay. Just cactus did just don't like the swampiness. So far, this project's within my scope. It's I can really easy. Okay. Kids could do this. Whatever. So now we're going to choose some rocks. Do you want yellow or blue? I am going to go blue. Okay, I'll do yellow. So I think we'll just open them up and dump them in. And I just want to watch out so I don't get too much... So I think this is a great way just to showcase kind of a single specimen and um, super trendy right now, inexpensive, um, great focal point for a room, you have some color, gift, etc. I mean you could fill with candy like jelly beans or... Oh that would be really cute. I don't know, M&Ms or something. That'd be kind of cute. Yeah, that would be cute. Okay, blue. Oh, I like yours with the blue. That looks great. And so how much I'm getting, I think I feel like I'm getting to... You're getting there. Let's just cover the top rim of the pot. And I think that's all the treatment we're going to give it. You got like... Level it out. Does this look right right here? Like that? I think that's pretty cool. What do you think? That's very really cool. I love it. Easy. Okay, now you're going to ask me how do you water it? Yes. So how, do, how do I water it? I was in the kitchen drawers again. Well, first I wanted to know, are there any rocks stuck in there? We could dust them off with this basting brush. But I did have I, a rock. I kind of shook it off, but okay. let's use those to just smooth it out. Okay. Kitchen tools. And then, so I thought instead of having to get a watering can down in there and slosh it all around, you could just... Use my turkey baster? Use your turkey baster. To water this. That is yeah. a great idea. Oh. I love it. So we've got our tongs, our pastry brush, and our turkey baster. Is that what this tools. is called? A pastry brush? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's kind of fun, huh? Yeah, it's very fun. Okay. I love it. Well, that was easy enough. Totally. Thanks for teaching me about succulents. Yeah, anytime.